Let's say we're given a connected undirected graph like the one we have here, and we want to use Prim's algorithm to create a minimum spanning tree. So this video is going to cover how exactly Prim's algorithm works, and then we're also going to do a demo of this, and then we're going to code this out in Python. So on the left, I've pasted in the steps for Prim's algorithm. Now an MST, a minimum spanning tree, that's going to be a tree, which is a subgraph of this undirected graph such that we have every single vertex of this graph and we've connected the tree such that the edges we've used are of smallest cost. So for example, the MST here that we would want is something that looks like this and then this and right here, we connect these two and connect these two and finally we connect these two. So here the graph that's created by using just those yellow edges shows us that we've used the smallest cost edges and our total cost for this MST is going to be 7 plus 3, which is 10, plus 3, 13, plus 2 is 15, plus 2 is 17. So we're going to have a total cost of 17. So let's go through each of the steps of Prim's algorithm. The first thing is we want to go through every vertex that we've currently added to the MST. So for example, here we'll just start with 0. So we currently only have 0 in our MST and we want to go through each of its edges and pick the smallest. Well, the smallest edge that goes out of zero is going to be this three. So we pick this three and we add its destination, which is four, to our used vertices. So now we have zero and four. Well, now that we have this, we can go through each of the smallest edges for each of these vertices. So for example, with zero, we'll go through six, nine, and seven. So that's this, this, and this. And then with four, we'll go through one, three, four, three, and eight. Now the thing with this three here is that we can't actually use that, first of all, because we've already used this edge. So this edge is already out of question. And out of these edges, we want to pick the smallest. And the second thing to notice is that this one right here, which indicates our self loop, is the smallest out of all of our edges here. But we don't want to pick this because our MST shouldn't repeat our vertices. We should only have one of each vertex. So we automatically disregard any self loops. So that goes out of question. And then the next smallest edge is going to be this one right here. So we add this edge with this vertex. And now we have the vertices 0, 3, and 4. Next, we consider all the vertices that are connected to 0, 4, and 3. So we can add on this and this. Now out of these, the smallest one is going to be a two. So we can either pick this two or this two, it doesn't matter. We'll start off by picking the latter. So we'll take this edge, and now we have zero, one, four, and three in our minimum spanning tree with these edges. So currently all of these have the smallest cost. Now from here, we can add the new edges. So from one, we can go to two using an edge that has a cost of five. Now, before we actually move on, we also need to get rid of edges that would result in us having a cycle because a spanning tree or a tree itself cannot contain any cycles. So if we go from zero to one in either this direction or this direction, then we end up with a cycle between zero, one, three, and four. So we automatically disregard these. Next, we can't have this edge right here because that also creates a cycle between four, one, and three. So we can remove that. And now that we've removed all those invalid edges, we can now consider our smallest edge. So here, our smallest edge is going to be this two. And again, we've already used this, we can erase that. So now that we're picking this two, we can shade this edge in, meaning that we've added it to our MST. And we can add this two node, or this two vertex, to our used vertices. Now we consider all the edges that go out from two, but we've already seen all those edges because the same edges that leave two are also connected to other vertices that we've visited. Now again, before we continue, we need to remove this five, because if we add this edge, which currently is our smallest, then we're going to create a cycle between one, two, and three. So we don't want it. So now that leaves us with seven and eight. So seven is cheaper, so we'll pick this edge, and we can shade this in, and we add five to our used vertices, and that wraps it up. So we've added zero, one, two, three, four, five to our used vertices, and that tells us that we've used all of them. So this is going to be our final MST. Now that we've done this, let's go ahead and code this out. So before we get started, let's just go over our input. 
So here I have a file called prim msg underscore input zero, and this is what I'm going to use to get all my vertices and edges. So here this number six means that I have six nodes. So just to keep this problem simple, we're just going to say that if we have six nodes, then it's going to be from zero through five. And you can change this up if you want, but it'll require a little bit more code, but it's still possible. Now, all the next lines here are going to be our nodes and then our edges. So each line is going to have one vertex endpoint and then followed by another endpoint, followed by the cost of that edge. So we might have this one right here. We're going from vertex one to five and its cost is five. And then keep in mind that because we have a connected undirected graph, that if we go from one to five and it has a cost of five, then the same applies if we go from five to one. So we have to consider that in our code. So now that we've gone over this, let's go to our code. So here we're just going to start by importing heap Q and we're going to use a heap later on when we actually go to get our smallest edges. It's going to be very convenient and maintains a log of n retrieval and reordering. So it's much better than if we just iterate through the whole edge list for a particular vertex. Next, we're going to maintain a list called MSG, and that's just going to be a list of the edges that we use. So after this, we can create a set called used vertices, and this is going to represent the vertices that we've currently used. Now that we've done this, we can open our file. So we'll say with open prim msg inputs slash prim msg input zero. So I just created a folder and put my input there, but you might have your input somewhere else and you can modify it as needed. And I'll open this as F. Now under this, I'm going to say num vertices is equal to int f dot read line. Cause remember the first line is just going to be the number of vertices we have. And then I'm going to create an edges list. Edges is equal to an empty list for blank in range num vertices. So this is going to be such that every element in edges represents a vertex. And for each one of those vertices, we're going to have a list where the first element of that list, the zeroth index, is going to be the edge cost. And the second element or the first index is going to be the endpoint vertex. So for example, if we look back here, maybe we'll take line eight. So we have vertex one goes to three with a cost of two. So here in our edge list at index one, we would say that we have a list two comma three because two is our cost and three is the endpoint. And then at index three, we would have a list that contains two comma one because two is our cost and one is the endpoint. So let's go factor that in. So we'll say for line in f dot read lines, so inside this loop, we can say edge is equal to tuple map int line dot split. That'll just get all our elements on that line. And then we want to make sure that we have no self loops. So if we do have a self loop, then we don't actually want to count it as part of our MSG. So there's no reason to actually read that part from our file. So we'll say if edge at zero is equal to edge at one, then we're going to continue because we don't want to factor that into our graph. Otherwise, we're going to do a heap Q heap push. So heap Q dot heap push. And the heap we're going to use is edges at edge zero. So that's that vertex, one endpoint. And we're going to add a tuple, which is edge two, which is the cost, and edge one, which is the other endpoint. And we're going to repeat the same thing, except this time we'll replace this one with a zero, and we'll replace this zero with a one. So that covers the first part. Now we've read all of our vertices and edges into our edges list. So the next part is to actually do the MSG generation. So here, before we actually start our loop, I'm going to create two variables, cost and dest. Dest is destination vertex. And I'm just going to set this equal to zero and one because these two variables are going to represent the two indices that we can get. So if we look right here on line 11 and 12, remember we've added this tuple where the first element or the zeroth index is our cost. And then the second element or the first index is our destination vertex. So we're just going to keep cost equals zero and dest equals one, just so then when we're actually working with these numbers, we can input cost and dest directly rather than using zero and one, because that might make it a little more confusing for you to follow along. Next, we're going to use a loop. So while length of used vertices is less than num vertices, this means that while our MSG is not full. 
So if our MSG is not full, the first thing we do is say vertex with smallest edge is equal to zero. So this variable is going to represent the vertex that has that smallest edge that we count. So we have to actually find that smallest edge. And then that's going to be the edge that we add. So we're going to iterate through all the vertices that are currently in our MST. So for vertex in use vertices. Now, the first thing is we want to remove any edges between two used vertices, because if we have an edge and we're trying to add that, and that is the smallest, but its endpoints have already been used, then we're going to create a cycle and we don't want that. So we'll say while length of edges at vertex is greater than zero and edges at vertex at zero at dest is in used vertices. So here we're checking to see if this is greater than zero. So if we still have vertices that extend from a current vertex and so if this is indeed true, then we evaluate whether the vertex at the front of this heap of this min heap is in the used vertices, because if it is, then we have a cycle. And here we're just saying bracket zero because that's referring to the first element. And with a min heap, the first element is always going to be the smallest. So here we'll just put a colon. And if this is the case, we'll say heap q dot heap pop edges vertex. Now, rather than using an if statement, we're using a while loop because there may be multiple vertices that we've added previously that now we have to remove. Next, we have to create a condition here. If length of edges at vertex is equal to zero, then we have to continue. And the reason for this is because if there are no edges from the vertex, then there's nothing that we can compare to. But if there are edges, then we need to satisfy a few more conditions. So here are the conditions. All edges from the vertex with smallest edge have to be used or the new edge cost is less than current vertex with smallest edge cost. And if either of those are true, then we can update the vertex with smallest edge. So we'll say if length of edges vertex with smallest edge is equal to zero, that means we can't actually compare anything. Or if we can compare something, edges at vertex zero cost. So the new vertex smallest cost edge is less than edges vertex with smallest edge at zero and that cost. And so if the cost of the current vertex with smallest edge is greater then we want to update it. So vertex with smallest edge is equal to vertex. Once we've done the loop for line 17 onwards, we have found our vertex with the smallest edge. So we want to actually add that smallest edge to our minimum spanning tree. So we'll just get that edge. Edge is equal to heap q dot heap pop edges at vertex with smallest edge. And then we'll add that to the MST. So we'll just do a little bit of formatting here. We'll say mst.append and we'll add a tuple so that it's vertex with smallest edge as one endpoint and then edge at destination or dest as the other endpoint and then edge cost. And finally, we can add both of these vertices to the used vertices set. So we'll say used vertices dot add vertex with smallest edge and we'll do the same thing except with edge at dest. And that wraps it up for our MST generation. So the final thing is to print the MST. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and test this code with our input. So we'll run this and we see that we get this following output. We see that we go from zero to two with a cost of three, and then from two to three with a cost of three, and then from three to one with a cost of two, and then from three to five with a cost of two. And then if we just scroll here, we go from zero to four with a cost of seven. And if you compare this with the graph that we had before, you'll see that this is exactly the MSG that we generated. So that's Prim's algorithm. It's pretty straightforward. There are probably more efficient implementations if you used Fibonacci heaps, but this implementation is good enough for what we have. So that's it for this video, and I hope this was helpful.